Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe Tostones. Fried green plantains, often served with garlic dipping sauce. Tostones are a popular Cuban and Caribbean snack made from green, unripe, plantains. They are often served as an appetizer or side dish and are loved for their crispy texture and versatility. Here's how to make tostones. Ingredients. Green, unripe, plantains. Vegetable oil, for frying. Salt, to taste. Instructions. Peel the plantains. Start by cutting off the ends of the green plantains. Using a knife, make a shallow lengthwise cut along the ridges of the plantain, being careful not to cut too deep into the flesh. This will help you peel the skin. Cut into rounds. Slice the peeled plantains into rounds, each about one inch thick. Fry the plantains. Heat vegetable oil in a deep frying pan or skillet over medium-high heat. You'll want enough oil to submerge the plantain slices. Carefully add the plantain rounds to the hot oil and fry them until they turn golden yellow, about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Flatten the plantains. Remove the fried plantain slices from the oil and place them on a paper towel lined plate to drain any excess oil. While they are still hot, use a tostanera, a flat, round press, or the bottom of a heavy glass to flatten each fried plantain round into a thin disc. You can also use a fork to flatten them if you don't have a tostanera. Fry again. Return the flattened plantains to the hot oil and fry them again until they are crispy and lightly brown, about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Drain and season. Remove the tostones from the oil and place them on a paper towel lined plate to drain excess oil. Sprinkle the tostones with salt while they are still warm. Serve. Tostones are best served immediately while they are crispy and hot. They are often served with dipping sauces like garlic sauce, mojo, or ketchup. Tostones are a delightful snack or side dish loved for their crispy exterior and soft, starchy interior. They are a staple in many Caribbean cuisines and are enjoyed throughout the region. Moros y Cristianos. Black beans and white rice cooked together, often served as a side dish. Moros y Cristianos, which translates to, Moors and Christians, is a classic Cuban dish of black beans and white rice cooked together. It's a flavorful and hearty dish that's popular in Cuba and throughout the Caribbean. The name reflects the historical and cultural influences of both African and Spanish cuisines in Cuban food. Here's how to make Moros y Cristianos. Ingredients. For the Moros, black beans. 2 cups black beans, dried or canned. 1 onion, finely chopped. 1 green bell pepper, finely chopped. 4 cloves garlic, minced. 2 bay leaves. 1 teaspoon cumin. 1 teaspoon oregano. Salt and pepper to taste. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. For the Cristianos, white rice. 2 cups long grain white rice. 4 cups water. Salt to taste. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. Instructions. For the Moros, black beans. If using dried beans, rinse the dried black beans and soak them in water overnight. Drain and rinse them again before cooking. Cook the beans. In a large pot, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and green bell pepper and saute until they are soft and translucent. Add the minced garlic, cumin, and oregano. Saute for another minute until fragrant. Add the drained black beans, bay leaves, and enough water to cover the beans by about an inch. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to a simmer. Cook the beans for about 1 to 1.5 hours, or longer if needed, until they are tender. Add more water as needed to keep the beans covered. Season with salt and pepper to taste. For the Cristianos, white rice. Rinse the rice. Rinse the white rice under cold running water until the water runs clear. Cook the rice. In a large saucepan, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the rinsed rice and saute for a couple of minutes until the rice is lightly toasted. Add the water and salt to the rice. Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat to low, cover, and simmer for about 18 to 20 minutes, or until the rice is cooked and the water is absorbed. Remove from heat and let it sit, covered, for 5 to 10 minutes before fluffing the rice with a fork. Elote, corn on the cob, grilled or boiled corn on the cob. Typically served with elote, also known as Mexican street corn, is a popular and delicious street food in Mexico and many other parts of Latin America. It's made from grilled or boiled corn on the cob that's typically coated with a variety of savory and flavorful toppings. Here's how to make elote. Ingredients. Fresh corn on the cob, husks removed. 
Mayonnaise or Mexican crema, sour cream. Grated cotija cheese, or Parmesan cheese as a substitute. Chili powder or tahine seasoning, a chili lime seasoning. Lime wedges. Fresh cilantro leaves, optional. Salt to taste. Instructions. Grill or boil the corn. You can prepare elote by grilling or boiling the corn. Grilling adds a smoky flavor, while boiling is a quicker option. If grilling, place the corn on a hot grill and cook, turning occasionally, until it's lightly charred and cooked through. If boiling, place the corn in a pot of boiling water and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until tender. Coat with mayonnaise or crema. Once the corn is cooked and still hot, use a brush or knife to coat the corn with a layer of mayonnaise or Mexican crema. This will help the toppings adhere. Sprinkle with cheese. Roll or sprinkle the corn with grated cotija cheese or parmesan as a substitute while the mayonnaise or crema is still wet. The cheese should stick to the surface. Season with chili and salt. Sprinkle chili powder or tahine seasoning over the corn to add a spicy and tangy flavor. Adjust the amount to your preferred level of spiciness. Optionally, add a pinch of salt for extra seasoning. Serve with lime and cilantro. Serve the elote with lime wedges on the side, allowing people to squeeze fresh lime juice over their corn. Garnish with fresh cilantro leaves if desired. Enjoy. Elote is typically served on a stick or with a holder to make it easier to eat. It's a delightful combination of sweet, savory, spicy, and tangy flavors. Elote is a beloved street food that's enjoyed at festivals, fairs, and street corners throughout Mexico. It's a perfect blend of flavors and textures, making it a popular treat for both locals and tourists alike. Cuban Pizza A unique Cuban-style pizza with a thin, flaky crust and a variety of toppings. Cuban Pizza, also known as Pizza Cubana, is a unique and delicious style of pizza that you can find in Cuba. It has its own distinct characteristics that set it apart from traditional Italian or American pizzas. Here's how Cuban pizza is typically made. Dough. Cuban pizza dough is known for being thicker and softer than traditional Italian pizza dough. It's often closer in texture to bread dough. Sauce. The sauce used on Cuban pizza is typically a tomato-based sauce that's on the sweeter side. It might have a hint of spiciness and a touch of sweetness, making it distinct from traditional pizza sauce. Cheese. Cuban pizza often features a blend of cheeses, including mozzarella and sometimes Swiss cheese. The cheese is typically shredded and generously spread over the pizza. Toppings. Cuban pizza can have a variety of toppings, including ham, roasted pork, a nod to the Cuban sandwich, chorizo, bell peppers, onions, olives, and sometimes even pineapple. Variations. One of the most famous Cuban pizza variations is the pizza de la casa, which includes ham, roasted pork, cheese, pickles, and mustard. Cooking method. Cuban pizza is usually baked in a rectangular or square shape, rather than the traditional round shape found in Italian pizza. It's baked in a pan, and the thicker dough allows for a chewy and soft texture. Serving. Cuban pizza is often served in squares or rectangles, and it's not uncommon to find it sold by the slice. It's a popular street food in Cuba and is frequently enjoyed at local pizzerias. Cuban pizza is a unique culinary experience that combines elements of Cuban cuisine with the classic appeal of pizza. It's a flavorful and satisfying option for those looking to try something different in the world of pizza. Arroz con pollo. Chicken and rice cooked together with vegetables, saffron, and spices. Arroz con pollo, which translates to rice with chicken, is a classic and comforting Latin American dish enjoyed in many countries, including Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Colombia. It's a one-pot meal that combines tender chicken pieces with seasoned rice and a variety of vegetables and spices. Here's a basic recipe for making a rose con pollo. Ingredients. For the chicken. Four chicken thighs or drumsticks, bone in and skin on. Two tablespoons vegetable oil. One onion, finely chopped. One bell pepper, finely chopped. Three cloves garlic, minced. One teaspoon ground cumin. One teaspoon paprika. Salt and pepper to taste. For the rice, 2 cups long grain white rice, 4 cups chicken broth, or water with chicken bouillon, 1 cup diced tomatoes, canned or fresh, 1 cup frozen peas, 1 cup diced carrots, 1 cup sliced green olives, optional, 1 half cup chopped fresh cilantro, or parsley, salt and pepper to taste. Instructions. For the chicken, season the chicken pieces with salt, pepper, ground cumin, and paprika. 
In a large, heavy bottomed pot or Dutch oven, heat the vegetable oil over medium-high heat. Add the chicken pieces and sear them until they are browned on both sides. Remove the chicken from the pot and set it aside. In the same pot, add the chopped onion, bell pepper, and minced garlic. Saute until the vegetables are soft and fragrant. Return the seared chicken pieces to the pot and add diced tomatoes. Stir to combine. For the rice, rinse the rice under cold running water until the water runs clear. Drain well. Add the rice to the pot with the chicken and vegetables. Stir to coat the rice with the flavorful mixture. Pour in the chicken broth, or water with chicken bouillon. Add frozen peas, diced carrots, and sliced green olives if using. Stir to combine. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to low. Cover the pot and simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until the rice is cooked and the liquid is absorbed. Remove the pot from heat, and let it sit, covered, for about 10 minutes to allow the rice to steam and finish cooking. Fluff the rice with a fork and sprinkle chopped cilantro or parsley on top. Serve hot, garnished with additional olives and cilantro if desired. Arroz con pollo is a hearty and flavorful dish that's perfect for family meals and gatherings. It combines the delicious flavors of chicken, rice, and vegetables with a blend of aromatic spices, creating a satisfying and comforting meal.